Hi, my beautiful bubbles. Welcome back to the court of law. <laughs> yes, we're back with some more confession reading videos, except this time we have evolved from Bloxburg into Roblox confessions. So these should be even more juicy. If you're not aware, I've done this video twice before where I read your guys' Roblox confessions of dirty things you've done in your past. And a lot of people like to say in their childhood to kind of separate themselves from their past doings, but we all see right through those lies. So without further ado, let's just get right into reading your deep, dark, confessions. Starting off with a confession from Sienna. She says, One time I was playing like a therapy game in Roblox to troll and then I told the therapist that I ate my hamster because my hamster ate my brother. Sorry, the my accent there just cut off because hold on let me reread that because my hamster ate my brother and I think my therapist was like seven or something so she probably believed it and asked wait hamsters can eat humans I have a hamster she was acting so scared because her hamster was beside her so I told her it was a joke and she still didn't believe and she said she was gonna get rid of her hamster without her mom knowing sob face there is so much to unpack here in this little sentence first off Actually, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Your therapist should not be seven years old because most likely you using them as a therapist will make them need therapy in the future. Does that make sense? <laughs> and I'd like to know if she actually got rid of her hamster and how she got rid of her hamster. How did she dispose of this hamster without her mom knowing? She put her hamster on Craigslist at seven years old. <laughs> hamster for sale, warning, eats human beings. <laughs> Well, Sienna, uh, I think that's quite the confession to start off with. I hope that to this day you feel guilty for the fact that you probably just broke this poor girl's trust with her hamster. I've gotten mad at someone and had a full on argument, got reported by a few people. I like how she just casually brings that up and they continue to talk about me, but they muted me and thought I left so I could see everything with two devil emojis. I wanna know if this is actually a thing. Someone commented under this comment saying, I've done that too. This is a thing in Roblox. If so, I want to do this. I don't really want to argue with someone, but I want them to think I've left the game and have them trash talk me. That would make really good YouTube content. I might get canceled, but that would make even better YouTube content. When I was younger, I would dress up as a character indoors and scare people away because they actually thought I was one of the characters. Then I was the only one left, so I beat the game so many times. This story has lots of flaws to it, okay? This is where the court orders. We're looking into this story because I can see right through this. I'm pretty sure Doors is a generally new game. <laughs> Oh no, this poor girl is about to get exposed so hard. Doors was released August 10, 2022, which was about, I'm gonna say like nine months ago. And in her confession, she says she was younger. You were nine months younger. <laughs> but I guess you can change in nine months. Stuff can change. Uh, I can lose all of my subscribers. Everyone can just leave because I stopped doing Bloxburg content. I swear I'm not salty about that. And also, if you want to play alone indoors, you can just play alone. You don't have to go into a server with three other people, kill them off, and then play alone from there on. Sorry, Sunflower. I sound like I'm really coming for you. I swear. We love you, Sunflower. But we see right through your lies. <laughs> Me and my friend were bored, so we decided to go into one of those hangouts and pretend to be two guys who were dating. My friend dressed as a slander and I dressed as a light academia boy. <laughs> we did that for a couple of hours and kept getting tons of crowds. Surprise, we were never got banned. <laughs> this is actually a genius idea. I want to do this with Ash sometime. <laughs> I know I just made a video about exposing online daters. Don't think I can continue on this planet anymore. I want to know what the developer was thinking. Whoever made this game obviously knew that it would become a feeding ground for online daters. Like, where is your morals at? I want to know but it's it's all fun it's all fun and light you know just like a light academia boy <laughs> that was such a bad joke oh my goodness this one is so bad this is probably the top tier confession i've ever got in my whole career of being a lawyer or i guess i'm a judge technically i did it in 2018 in a boys and girls club while being next to my mom at age 10 and i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> this one is just outright mean and naughty one time i was offering my really good knife in murder mystery 2 and I was trolling, pressing accept, and the trade actually went through. So then I started to call them a hacker and someone gave me a free knife. See these like blinks right here? That's a blink of disbelief. Violet, Violet, Violet. <sighs> 
first off, I don't think you're the victim here. You were messing with people and then got mad and called them a hacker when your joke didn't go to plan. I mean, you were the one pressing accept. And then on top of all that, people actually believed you and gave you a free knife. So I'm gonna have to lock you away in prison for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Okay, this is quite a long story, so everyone uh, buckle up, put on your little car seat, and uh, let's read this together. A while back when my friends were obsessed with me... <laughs> What is that first statement? That's like such an egotistical thing to say. Like, my friends, they were obsessed with me, you know. They they wouldn't stop calling and texting me. <laughs> okay, but hold on. Let's continue reading, okay? Before we judge this whole five paragraph essay by the first sentence. I would play a game called Activate Alone and my friend wanted to do everything with me and I didn't. Anyways, I would play alone and she, we'll call her number one, would join begging to call. I didn't want to call, but she really did. So I ignored her. Did I feel bad? Bad? No. <laughs> Yet again, who's the one to blame here? Back to the story. She kept on calling me. Now, this should be her confession. <laughs> she would lie to me about herself, plus say stuff like, my cat died, I'm alone, so and so is being mean. And since me and number one are friends, I would call her if stuff like that happened. Okay, back to Roblox. I didn't want to call, so I said nothing and left the game. I waited until she was left, plus once she did, I joined back into the game. Then she would join me and that would repeat over and over again until she blamed me for being annoying and not calling her. Well, I don't want to. Please get me a therapist. Thank you. I really don't know who's to blame here because I completely understand where she's coming from. Sometimes I just don't want to call people. Like, I'm just not in the mood. I think she could have handled the situation a little better, but this is something probably a lot of us can relate to. So thank you so much, Enid for sharing your story. Once back in 2019, I was bored and decided to dress up as Jake in Royal High. I decided to ask a girl to the Royal High Ball and at the end of the night, I finally revealed to her that I was a girl. It's giving me Cinderella, except Roblox edition. <laughs> she was shocked at first, but I convinced her that we should still be friends. Aww. It's giving Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I was trying to think of another freaking Disney show. I used to do this too. I think we've all done this where we dressed up as the so-called Jake in Royal High just so we could get attention, honestly. We were lonely little 11 year olds because there were so many girls and they completely outnumbered the guy. So if there was one guy in a Royal High server, it was like moths, moths, moths. Moths to a light. I can't say moths. So dressing up like a guy and getting a bunch of girls to give you attention, honestly, it made me feel less alone in this world. <laughs> Sunny Cat says, I was playing the hood on my own one day and this girl came up to me. She said, hi, I'm new and I don't know how to play this game. I said I'd help her out and proceed to tell her how to play. In my head, I was like, okay, just teach this girl and go on my merry way. As I don't add randoms. But then after I taught her, she began to follow me and was rude to anyone who tried to talk to me or attacked me. I even asked her to stop following me and she goes, aren't we friends? I had enough and I took her to my house and said, wanna know one more thing about this game? Never trust anyone. And then super punched her and stomped her. I left before she could find me again. Laughing emoji. <laughs> well, Sunny Cat, I think you might be in the wrong here. What do we think, Jerry? Do, do we think that Sunny Cat is in the wrong? I mean, you legally signed the contract to help her out and there was no expiration date on that contract. So she decided to defend you you and help you out and how do you respond with anger and violence and this was unprovoked violence so sunny cat i think it's time for you to be locked away in prison five years tops plus parole i don't know what any of that means i'm just spewing nonsense in brookhaven i used to maybe still do shrink until you're the smallest size paint myself white and hide in the sinks and get our prop box and spam loads of tents and ladders and food on the floor so they can't see anything just a bunch of stuff in their whole house. Whoever I did it to, I still don't feel sorry to this day. And that gives me a great idea. <laughs> They'll never spot me. <laughs> I can't reach the steering wheel. I'm barely there. I'm too small. Okay, I think I see my first victim. I'm gonna park the car across the street. That way I don't look suspicious. Yes, in the middle of the road. How perfect. It's okay. I have really good insurance. Okay, this child's watching me. You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing at all. Actually, look, I'm like a PNG image. So you see right through me. This house is perfect because it's all, it's all white. How do I get in? It's like I can barely push the door open. I'm so weak. Blend in with the wall. Ooh, a laundry machine. Don't mind if I do. I'm a little smelly. 
That actually takes so much work. Okay, where am I supposed to hide? Aguante me to see? What does this mean? Does anyone know how to break into this? <laughs> Not me being like a Brookhaven noob. I don't know what this is for, but I feel like it has something to... A bomb? Sure, let's see what ha- that actually worked. Okay, let's take the money and get out of here. Security has detected you, not for long. I blend in with the bathtub. I'm just a little soap. You know, that's all I am. She's just standing right out there. Sage, 16 years old. Sage, you have quite a lot of money in that safe for being 16 years old. I'm gonna drop a bomb and see what happens. <laughs> if that doesn't get Sage's attention, I don't know what will. <gasps> I'm unnoticeable. I can do anything in this world. This is my time to shine. Sage, Sage. <laughs> oh, Sage murdered me. I was banned by Sage's house. Man, the person who gave me this confession lied. Just because you paint yourself white and become tiny doesn't mean you can get away with everything. Man. And for our final confession, it is from Chris, who said, joined the scented con games, dot, dot, dot. And I think that's where we should end this. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's court session, reading some of your deep, dark confessions. Let me know some stuff you've done down below in the comments, because I do actually read these comments. Look for me there. I will find you. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you all later. Bye, my beautiful bubbles.